What's up, guys? How is everyone? Hope everyone's doing good. We are back. Um, we got our ICT billet pre-drill template because uh, we're going to have to drill the block um, to get our ICT billet alternator bracket lower mount to work. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have to drill right here and tap it to to the right bolt size i got the drill bits all measured out um we're gonna go about an inch deep and then tap it i got everything set up and ready got uh the tap ready and i'm gonna get the drilling and we'll go from there first i gotta mount this uh so we can get a good uh center punch of where we need it be perfect get it all set up see you in a second Just like that we're back we got the ict billet alternator bracket installed looks great um got the other pulley on there too as well uh alternator looks great i'm got a string and measured for uh the alternator um uh for the serpentine belt uh it came out to 55 inches with uh no tension on the tensioner it came out to 55 inches and one eighth so i'm thinking if i can get of uh, anything 55 to a 49 and a half inches I, I i really think that would be ideal and it'd be okay but with that being said i am gonna pick that up tomorrow so i'll i'll see you in a second but for me it'll be a completely whole other day Shh. we're back how is everyone just uh to recap we're uh we did get the ict billet alternator bracket completely installed as you can see it's completely installed looks great today i am working on i needed to buy a bump steer kit <clears throat> unfortunately but i just had to um so i've got this right here i already got it somewhat going together right now got this then this is gonna go in here and i just gotta i gotta figure out the spacing and all that so i'm working on that um but after that i have a, a new belt coming um because this one is too long so i do have a new pump uh pump new belt coming uh for uh, a new serpentine belt i measured it yesterday should have the right length should be coming today um and then uh yeah we'll figure out what to tackle next after that um i did get some other uh parts that i've been waiting on i do have my throttle cable bracket now and i forget what else is in that box um so i'm gonna have to open it up and take a peek but i'm gonna get working on this and i'll show you when it's done so we got the bump steer uh <clears throat> installed on the passenger side here it is got 
the thick washers it's even with the control arm right now that's what you want you want it to be even with the control arm um at full full rest and all that and then the thing is is if i if i do need to lower the car i could i can change the way uh these um uh spacers are set up which is very very nice um i got the top bolt completely tight torqued down and everything that one's completely done it's it's not going coming back off or anything because they can take it off the bottom i'm gonna leave the bottom loose And just like that, we got a belt put on. Looking good. Looks great. Um, ended up going with uh, 54 and a half. Um, should be good. The tensioner is not maxed out. Um, it's not maxed out all the way the other way, and it's not pushed all the way forward. It's like right in the middle. So that should be perfect. All right, but that's going to be it for now. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. See you on the next one.